Good morning, everyone. It is now 7 a.m., and nighttime is officially over. Time to rise and shine. Get ready to greet another beautiful day. Greetings and salutations, this is Fella Cat, and welcome back to Dongon Rapa Trigger Happy Havoc. Yesterday, we unlocked the third floor of the school, thanks to the end of the class trial. Discovered that Chihiro left a legacy behind to help solve the mystery of this school. And learned that money may not, in fact, be the root of all, all evil. But, in this case, it probably will. Yep. Well then, I guess I should head to the dining hall. I love how laid back the freaking music is, by the way. In this situation, it's completely, completely out of place. Oh, morning, ladies. Good morning, Sakura. Mm. Did you just wake up? Yeah. <laughs> Waking up for our breakfast meeting is fine, of course, but getting up a little early is better. You can exercise in your room till nighttime ends. A big deal after working up sweat is divine. For you, maybe, yeah, but I'm, I'm not that deep, so, yeah. Hey, Makoto! Hey, morning, Makoto! Good morning, you're kinda sweaty. Have you been exercising? That's right! Yep, me and Sakura are doing our morning workout! Oh, but I didn't break into our I, I didn't break our night, I promise. I just ran around my room till it ended. Why don't you come with us next time? I don't think I can keep up with you and Sakura. Huh? Ah, oh, seriously? Ah. Okay, then we can do something in the rec room. I'm not the, I'm not good at much, but I do know how to play Othello. <laughs> I'm not very good at that either though. I don't like to think when I'm playing, so. Her mood did a complete 180 from yesterday. Kinda of scary actually. I'm kind of tempted to go in the bathhouse and check on, uh, uh, Chihiro's AI. Hey, Fumi. Ah, well, hello. Ah, good morning. Morning. Mm -hmm. Actually, it's a great morning. A morning that has blessed my entire future. Really? It feels like any other morning to me. <laughs> Maybe you can't tell, but my soul is positively overflowing with strawberries today. <laughs> well, I'm off. That was bizarre, I mean... Even for him. Agreed! Well, it was bizarre, even for him. I got some wicked hay fever going on, so you can probably hear that. Hello, Moth, in Could my voice. Be? So, the people here today are the same as are the. Ugh, I can't talk. Are the same as yesterday, just as seven. Mm. Yakya yeah, and Toko are a lost cause, but. It looks like Taka's decided to stop coming for good, too. Yeah. It's like he's just given up. <laughs> for people around as tight as he is, when he snapped, he's that hard. I wish there was someone to make him better. Honestly, people. Hmm. On another topic, Kyoko, did everything go alright last night? Indeed. Yeah, I didn't have any problems. Correct. I went and checked on the laptop a little while ago, and there weren't any problems there either. But... Kyoko seemed to hesitate, but... <sighs> it's related to this case, so I suppose I should be blunt. Anyway... I have to make you a new rule. Using alter ego without permission is prohibited. Someone going in and out of the dressing room would draw unwanted attention from the mastermind. Oh! I would have thought that would be obvious. Why do we need to make a rule about it? Wow. That's a good question. Hey. Do you have any thoughts on that, Hifumi? Oh, um... No, it's just like you said, we all need to be very careful. Huh? Uh-huh. Hey, what? Whatever, let's just hurry up and eat. We don't have time to sit around flapping our lips. What? What? <sighs> Sorry. Jeez, why are you talking like a piss-off drill sergeant all of a sudden? We ate breakfast in a rush and headed back to our rooms. Okay then. 
should I do today? I want to go look at the third floor again because it, again, Mr. Nayagi thought he needed to rush off in a big flip flap and hurry before I could get finished looking around up there. It's irritating when he does that crap. I half expected to find Taka in here trying to figure out how to go back in time. I know it's crazy, but... Bunch of files here. Probably a lab files research data. Uh-huh. One of the monitors. Yeah, yeah. This is a tarp. It's a pretty ordinary item overall. <laughs> and the omnipresent surveillance cameras. Okay, so there was Jack all in here. talk to in a while. I'm trying to think here. Franklin, I don't care if he dies. I want to see if I can find Kyoko and talk to her. I like Kyoko. Of course, every time I do that, they die, so maybe I should leave everyone the hell alone. And just, like, be a complete loner. <laughs> I mean, every time. Oh, hello. You're here. Not that I care, but yeah, you're here. Great. Yep, fair enough. Fresher coffee is stronger, and it does taste a little bit different. Oh, right, the nurse's office. I never checked that out. Duh. Let's go do that. I got so distracted by everything else that was going on, I never checked out the nurse's office with the uh, painkillers and stuff. Here we are. Trash can, nothing inside, so I don't really need to spend any more time thinking about it. A refrigerator? They must use it to keep drugs and stuff cold. But what would they need to. <laughs> it has Monokuma Cove written across it, I guess they covered all the. the what he said. Well, there really wasn't much in here to check out after all. Shit. Fine. You may look like an idiot, why don't you? I don't know what to do now. Well, apparently it's gonna force me to talk to Byakya. Or Hifumi. Or, wait, wasn't there somebody in the kitchen? Yeah, Hifumi was in here. Fine. Ah, well, hello. Ah, Mr. Nayagi, funny meeting you here. Mm-hmm. A salute to you. You got it.
Salute! I just saluted. Did you, did you see? That was the Hifumi Ultimate Salute. Sam. Yeah, there's no one else around, bro. <laughs> Cosplayers these days are totally ignorant of the origin, the history, and the significance of their hobby. And if you don't know your history, you can never have a complete cosplay experience. So, Mr. Nayage, prepare for a gloriously detailed history of the cosplay world. Now, in 1955, I don't think it goes back that far, bro. I'm just saying. I listened to Hifumi's half obsessed ranting for way too long. I don't have anything for him. Do I? Um. Do I actually have something to like? I think he likes this stuff. I don't know why, but I think he does. No, yeah, he's into it. Okay, let's give him this. So you thought this would please me, huh? You thought this... this would... Okay. I got the impression they liked it. That's good. Mm-hmm. Now then, this time, would you like to learn about one of my many legends? Your legends? <laughs> Naturally, you don't become the ultimate fancy creator without a few legends sprouting up around you. One such legend is how, in middle school, I was able to convince the school to create a fanfic club. Here we go! And from that day, I exposed myself and my fanfic to the world at large! That didn't sound right, dude. By the way, do you happen to know what my, all my work is based on? Sorry, no idea. Yes, indeed. Well, surely you heard of the highly acclaimed anime Demon Angel Pretty Pudgy Princess. Yeah, I had a feeling. Hmm. Now, you might hmm. think that that sounds hmm. totally cliche, but hmm. you would be wrong. I don't simply copy the Pretty Girl Princess Pickle style. I took a total meta sci-fi approach. Okay. My perspective was seen as quite odd, of course, but if you really look at what I was doing, my version of Princess Pickles was a total antithesis of the new wave sci-fi movement. In fact, it was my response to J.G. Ballard's speculative fiction stylings. Here we go! Okay. So it's anyway. Oh. Unlike most fans, I never saw Princess Pickles as your typical moe anime. Yeah, I definitely got that impression. But I can't believe you're able to single-handedly persuade the school to let you make a club. <laughs> well, that's because I bribed them with a cut of my profits. Profits? <laughs> and I've only gotten better at it. I'm blowing up! Now then, up till then, now, I'm always focused on taking part in Princess Pickles' single setting events. Single setting? Mm -hmm. When a circle gets together to come up with a project or event focused on only one show or series. So a Princess Pickle single setting event would only... Yeah, got it. On the flip side, if there's a restriction on the number of properties, do you know what that's called? I'm guessing that would be a free-for-all. The opposite of a single setting event. Is it just called a free-for-all? That's absolutely right! There are actually plenty of free-for-all events every year, and yet... You know nothing! More and more slackers are showing up with no idea what fanfic really means. It's so annoying! So in order to crush those peons with all my might, I'm going to start taking part in more free-for-alls. Crush them? That doesn't sound very friendly. <laughs> I don't participate in these events to make friends! And I cannot forgive those lazy bastards! And don't tell me to ignore them! If you let some little ones survive, you'll regret it later. Play any RPG where the villain spares the hero when he's level 1 what happens, boom, dead. Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. It's a doggy dog industry where only the most brutal survive. Oh, but don't worry, I'm gonna start you off easy by getting you involved in some simple cosplay action. Huh? I'm gonna get involved? Wait, did you say cosplay? Uh -huh. You're a pretty good looking guy. If your costume was de decent enough, I might even let you work my booth. <laughs> I bet you can even net yourself a magical girl harem. Yes, indeed. So with that in mind, let's change the world of fanfic together. Let's let's not. What does that even mean? Let's let's not. Let, let's not. I probably looked like I was running away as I went back to my room. Yeah, I bet. A little bit. I bet. Still got some time. Oh. Huh? Sounds like someone's here.
Oh, hey, Taka. Taka. Uh, uh. Is it true? Can I really see Chihiro? Huh? You mean Alter Ego? Uh, uh. He's still alive? N no, not quite. Hmm. Let me see. I want to talk to him. Taka. The way he is now, there's no way I can explain what's going on to him. Kyoko said we're not allowed to use Alter Ego. But even so... I can't just leave him here Ah, yes you can, bro. You can't just leave him here like this. Okay, why don't we get going? I feel like this is a really bad idea. I can see Chihiro take me. Okay. I feel like this is really bad. Oh, hey, just the person I wanted to talk to. Hey, just a Kyoko. second. Where are you going? Huh? Hey. It's probably best if you don't drag him around with you too much, given his current condition. Kyoko looks at Taka standing behind me. Y yeah, I, n I know that. But I was getting kind of hungry. I thought we could head to the dining hall or warehouse or something. Correct. Well, then I guess that's okay. I thought I saw a brief flicker of doubt, but maybe it was just my imagination. But I wanted to talk to her! Damn it! Oh! Perfect! Oh, she's Jill right now. Uh, do I have any presents Jill would like? I do, actually. I was saving that for somebody else. Yeah, the problem is that she's not Toko right now. She's Jack, or rather Jill. Oh, but I do have something that Jill would like, actually. Is that Toko? What? What, what, what? Hmm? what are you two up to? Uh -huh. Don't tell me you're gonna, you're gonna. Mm, yes. Having yes. lost his new brother, Taka is right for the taking. So Makoto sweeps in, swoops in to steal him away. <laughs> Am I on fire? I severely regretted talking to Genocide Jack, even if by accident. You but that doesn't matter right now. Have you seen Bakya? Huh? No, I haven't. Actually, I have. <sighs> oh, good heavens! My love is being pushed to the to the limit. <laughs> I almost feel bad for him. Damn it! Why does everyone keep running away from me? <sighs> Probably because this is a scripted event. Bad idea, but here we go. Okay, so there's a laptop inside the locker, understand? And on the laptop, there's a program called Alter Ego. Uh, uh. How, how do I talk to him? Uh, oh, um, well, you just tell me what you want to say, and I'll type it in for you. Do you hate Mondo and since I couldn't stop him do you hate me it was clear he was forcing himself to get the words out from his mouth from the bottom of his heart he forced his weakened voice to make the sounds hmm. please uh, okay I typed the questions exactly as Taka had asked them and then so um do you hold yourself responsible but if Master could not have talked now, I think this is what he would say. Please, live your life for the both of us. 
It's impossible for me now, but you can still survive and escape. All of you. Hey, Taka. I was about to say more, but quickly close my mouth. <laughs> the one asking those questions is... Taka, right? Analyzing all available data, that's the only conclu conclusion I can come to. Um... Master told me how close Taka and Mondo had become. So that must be why he feels responsible. The screen suddenly went dark. And what appeared next was... You're not letting yourself get crushed under the weight of that responsibility, are you? Yo. A man's only worth as much as the load he can carry. You get it, right, bro? Hell, what am I saying? Of course you do. Hmm. That's... So. I'm sorry if I startled you. That was my attempt at a simulation using the data about Mondo the Master had given me. I figured if Taco was depressed, that's the kind of thing Mondo would have said to him. Yo. So you're just gonna stand there, huh? Just wait for things to get better? Just take your time and get all depressed. Take the time to indulge your regrets. You might even start walking again without realizing it. Sure, that kind of medicine thinking might work for some people. <laughs> what if I said that with that kind of condescending tone? Uh, uh. Taka? Uh, uh. It's starting to sink in. The way a bucket full of water sinks into a bone dry sponge. Huh? Those words, deep within my heart, they're inside of me. Okay... Taka? Who the fudge is Taka? Oh my god. Your eyes. Hey, don't worry about it. Guess that caused kind of a scene, huh? Shoot, man. And your voice. Yeah. I'm a new me. I'm totally stuffed with fighting spirit now, you dumb butt! Oh my god. Uh, okay, Taka. Just calm down. What? I am calm, and don't call me Taka. That's... that's not my name anymore. I'm... me! Okay... Taka let a little chilling howl and ran out of the room. Oh my god! They're all going knocking fuss! Oh my god, I love it. Hey, Taka, ho hold on! And I took off after him, but someone stood in my way. As if tagging Taka out, she walked briskly into the dressing room. Just a second. What do you think you're doing? Kyoko! Oh, um, no, see, this is just- Enough already. Don't go around doing whatever you feel like. It causes problems, and not just for me, for everyone. Sorry. Correct. If you're really sorry, you'll get out of here. Now. Okay. That was weird! Finally, I headed back to my room, embarrassed and sullen. Well, you should be. But still, what was Taka- what was with Taka's sudden freak out? I'm seriously worried about him. That was weird! Hmm. <clears throat> this is a school announcement. It is now 10 p.m. As such, it is officially nighttime. Soon the doors to the dining hall will be locked, and entry at that point is strictly prohibited. Okay then. Sweet dreams, everyone. Good night. Sleep tight. Don't let the bed bug bite. It's night time already. Guess I'll have to wait till tomorrow to figure out Taco's whole thing. For now, time to sleep. That was so weird. <clears throat> Do you want to know why I hate video games? You might not believe this, but I had a best friend once. Actually, he was my only friend, but unlike me, he had all kinds of friends. So me and him were at his house one day when a big group of guys showed up to hang out. They just bought the latest big budget video game. They sat there, they sat there lost at the game, pressing the controller back and forth for hours. But not me. I just sat there watching. That's right, I just watched. What's wrong with that? I didn't care. Just by watching, I was able to nail down all the best strategies. Even though I never actually played it. And I don't plan on ever playing it in the future either. 
All right. And the end of yet another strange day is the end of yet another strange episode. Thanks for watching, hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you later.